An education fund to help the needy but brilliant at Usu has been launched here in Accra. Speaking on behalf of Nino Tuwu, Usu School Secretary Ni Okwe Norte said it is frightening that a large population of the Usu youth are not in school and that the situation had remained the same for years, leading to poor development of the area. Nino Tuwu recalled the heydays of Usu, the citadel of formal education in Ghana, where Usu was the host of excellent craftsmen who led the infrastructure development of most West African countries. This is the least Osu can do for the youth of today, particularly as education in Ghana started here on the shores of Osu. Indeed, Osu has been a leading township in Ghana State in the past. From the early 19th century, Osu could boast of excellent craftsmen, that is goldsmiths, blacksmiths, carpenters, and masons, the quality of their work was acknowledged beyond the borders of the then Gold Coast. As a result, their services were sought after in many West African countries, such as Sierra Leone, Nigeria, Cameroon, and in the French and Belgium Congo. Osu once had many well-educated men and women who acquitted themselves creditably in the colonial administration and later in the Ghana civil service. The launch attracted a host of individuals from the academia and local government. A lecturer and lawyer, Professor Noi Norte, was optimistic the fund will be sustained to harness and bring to the fore the potentials of the ordinary Osu youths. Too long, as most of you are aware, as the entire country is aware, education in Ghana, especially education in the Gadangli state, in our inner cities, you name it, the Osuma Amni, La Mamni, has been retrogressive. In fact, if we think of where education was 10, 15, 50 years ago, compared to now, the state of education is quite poor. With this fund, we are starting to rekindle that love for education amongst our youth, amongst our children. We are starting to create an environment which uh, encourages education, which rewards education. We recognize that the government alone cannot do it for us. If we're waiting for outsiders coming to do it for us, we'll be waiting for quite a while. So with this fund, we are taking the first bold step to ensure that years from now, the children who we have now, the younger generation, will say with this with the launch of this fund, educational attainment was increased, educational enrollment was increased, and not just education, but quality education. The Osia Hene of Osu, Niinote Adumwa, told TV Africa News the launch of the fund couldn't have come at a better time. He bemoaned the protracted chieftaincy dispute in Osu, which according to him has dragged the area back in terms of development. Many Futuni Nwagbilinani, Wagbilina Waha me kubin keke. She wagbilina waha Osu shikwe bi beke bi nije lumoyeli ashiyan beke bi na meleni she kule shika eh eh papa be ame school yai ni ane ekoni anye akekwe ame je osupe she ke i extend ke ya gan adan yo state fe koni mo fe mo ana ne ke futune he say le dienche le dienche ni tashi e fe e seed money ni ke wo mi omu e fe seed money ni ke wo mi omu she no hu e officially e Abafi fundraising and dinner dance. Now, I declare the Kemajani be nefe, ye be, papa me, no ho, many, a bolake, but fair bonita, my hands, I can lunch on the fund.